Hello everyone and welcome back for another edition of 8 Minutes with Aaron. I am of course your host Aaron and today we are discussing once again Monday Night Raw in 8 minutes. So let's get rolling with a fresh edition of this guy right here, Aaron. Jumping in right away, we started off with Seth Rollins coming to the ring, calling out Cody Rhodes to verify whether or not he is going to face him at WrestleMania. Rollins, of course, has to be a Jim Cornette fan and listen to him on YouTube because several times he said, ha, 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 there's a pop, ha, ha, there's another pop because my buddy Jim Cornette was talking about and SmackDown when Roman Reigns talked about Rollins, there was zero pop, zero excitement, nobody cared when his name was mentioned. This brought out Drew McIntyre eventually who got in the mix wearing a CM Punk shirt with a meme where him is smiling next to a grave like he killed them. It was great. Then, you know, Drew McIntyre did a headbutt on Seth Rollins and rolled out of the ring. But Drew McIntyre is probably doing some of the greatest heel work of all time. I would love for him to become world champion. So I hope, if anything, maybe it's a triple threat match at uh, WrestleMania. That would be pretty cool. But that segment was really good to start off the show. Good job from everybody. I mean, I don't really like care for Cody Rhodes and that whole story, but bleh. All right, uh, then it just let's just jump into the Fatal 4-Way match for the Tag Team Championship Qualifier. The winner would face Tyler Bates and some other one who had his name changed from something else, from Butch back to something something, can't remember. Uh, it was between the New Day versus the Creed Brothers versus Imperium versus DYI. Uh, DYI did win the match. There was a lot of action, a lot of high-flying moves from the Creed Brothers. They're real big, real bulky. So, you know, that's really fun to watch. Uh, everyone won't really care. I feel like it's the same four tag teams everywhere. Even on SmackDown, I feel like... I, who's on SmackDown? What tag teams are on SmackDown? So, I, I don't know. Damian Priest and Finn Balor are going to face, you know, the winners of the tournament, which are probably going to be Taylor Bates or Tyler Bates and Pete Dunne. That's the name. Pete Dunne and Tyler Bates. That's the guy I was trying to remember. Uh, then they go into this match with uh, the women's qualifying match for the Elimination Chamber between Sonya, uh, Son what, Sonya Blazer? I know, now I'm pronouncing it wrong. Uh, versus Becky Lynch. Uh, they both had like a little promo in the beginning before they came to the ring. Uh, Shayna. Shayna! Shayna Baszler's like, you know, I, I murdered everybody in the Elimination Chamber like two years ago. And I was a husky beast. And then I faced... Uh, you know, at WrestleMania or whatever the hell, she faced Becky Lynch and she lost. And now she has an opportunity to beat her and go to the Elimination Chamber. Well, Becky Lynch won the match because we're probably going to see Becky Lynch versus Rhea Ripley at WrestleMania. Do I think that it was a good match? It's They're good for, for the women wrestlers. I'm not knocking women's wrestling. Some women wrestlers aren't that great. But Becky Lynch and Shayna Baszler are very good. And then you got Liv Morgan, who was watching on the monitor backstage, who said she wants to get uh, revenge on Rhea Ripley because Rhea Ripley injured her, <laughs> kayfabe, and she was out for like a year. So I guess that's going to be cool. I don't know how she's going to be Zoe Starks because Liv Morgan is so small and so tiny. She's um, not believable as, as a champion or wrestler. That's just me. Uh, then we had Rhea Ripley come out, being like, yo, Nia Snacks, I mean Nia Jax. Come out here. I want to beat the shit out of you for you attacking me last week. Here came Adam Pierce and saying, you know, you'll have a match against her at Elimination Chamber. Here came Nia Jax. Nia Jax and Ripley got into it. She, like, beat up Rhea Ripley. Then all these security guards came in. And then Nia Jax squashed all the security guards. And that was the end of that segment. Uh, then we went into Maxine Dupree and Tazawa versus Ivar and uh, Valhalla. I'm just going to skip that match because that was that was brutal. That was a brutal watch. I'll, I'll be honest with you. Um, yeah. I don't know why Maxine Dupree is wrestling. She's not good. Better as a valet, not as a very good wrestler. And Tazawa, this dude was a champion in like other federations. I don't know why they treat him like a comedy act, but I guess they just need something like that. Uh, Ivar, uh, he hasn't really hit it with me, and I don't know what the hell Michael Cole's obsession is with Valhalla and the Antlers. That was, I don't know. Uh, the next match was JG and uh, McDonough versus, and with Dominic Mysterio versus The Miz. Uh, that match was eh, met too, and it didn't get good until R-Truth came in. 
His antics are getting kind of shitty now. I don't think they're as funny as they were about two weeks ago. But he's still thinking that he's in Judgment Day, even though he got his ass beat on SmackDown. I just don't get it. It, it. it was good. It had its run. And now it should be pushed away and let's move on from it. It's, it's not just not funny anymore. And J.D. McDonough, you know, when it first the match started, the Miz was murdering the shit out of his dude. So I, I don't know. He's really small too. I, he's, he's not believable. You're too small to be... I don't know. Uh, the next match we had, or I'm sorry, the next segment we had, I apologize, was for Imperium. Imperium, my boy Gunther. 600 plus days as Intercontinental Champion. I guess this was just a way for Jey Uso to come in and challenge him to a match. I don't really care for Jey Uso. All you Yeet fans, it's fine. I don't care. I don't even know what Yeet means. Maybe I'm just not hip, not cool. You know, tucker, 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 Ah, Austin Powers, no. No, okay. Dr. Evil, saying this cool, the Scott. Uh, make a long story short, uh, Jay, uh, you know, uh, said I want to become IC champion. Let's get a match on. We don't know when that match is going to be. Whenever that match is, I guarantee you it's going to be a disqualification or his brother Jimmy is going to end up causing him the match, which will lead to the WrestleMania match if it's going to happen this year. Uh, the next match, I just I don't even want to go through this, but it was the tag team for women's championship match, the Kabuki Warriors versus Kanaya Chance and Caden Carter, I guess don't have a tag team name. Um, that match was god-awful. Awful. So many botches from the beginning. It was slow. It was it was not good. They're the champions, the Kabuki Warriors, Asuka and Carrie Sane, and it, it was terrible. It was a bad match. It was a bad match. I don't know if it was just an off day and they want to say it was, oh, Bailey handled with a pipe on Friday. But but what about the other two, Kanaya Chase and Caden Carter? They were both bad tip. I'm sorry. Uh, which would lead us into the main event, the bull rope match, Cody Rhodes versus Shinsuke Nakamura. That's King of Strong Style. Wah! Uh, what can I say about this match? It's maybe the third or fourth time they squared off together. Uh, it was a good back and forth. Cody got a couple of Cody cutters in. He did a pedigree. Shinsuke did the mist. He attacked him before the bell. Back and forth, back and forth. Uh, Shinsuke went for the Kinsaka. Cody blocked it. And then did another, uh, what's it called? Cody, Sweet Dreams, Nightmare, something. Whatever the hell he does. Uh, I'll remember it before this video is over. Uh, natural disaster? A na nature disaster? <laughs> How can I not remember this finisher? I watch so much wrestling and, and and I have no idea what the finishers are called. I don't know what Cody... You know what? That's what I want to talk about. I have no idea what it is. And of course, uh, throughout the show, they did a nice... Oh, Cody Rhodes won the match. Uh, and they did a nice package for CM Punk's Road to Recovery with him, you know, getting ready for surgery and him going under and then him waking up, you know, zipping a bag, talking about how that's the worst part about it. You know, I can just zip in a bag. Can't, can't do it. Uh, but yeah, this Monday Night Raw, um, I, yeah, Drew McIntyre. Oh, right. Drew McIntyre had a segment with Adam Pearce and Adam Pearce is like, yo, I'm finding you for this. If you're wearing that shirt, the, the dead thing with CM Punk, I'm finding you for that. Yo, Drew McIntyre is on fire. So, Drew McIntyre, you saved the show. You are getting an up. That's right. My name is Aaron. Thank you for joining me with 8 Minutes of WWE Monday Night Raw. I will see you next time on uh, 8 Minutes of Aaron. We'll probably talk about some kind of Funko. I will see you later. Bye-bye.